Thanks. <coughs> Thanks for coming. Uh, it is about the title, Community Cloud from Scratch. The main objective of this presentation is to uh, see the beginning of the inter-cloud paradigm. Uh, we have made an effort to make first steps to uh, make at this uh, inter-cloud uh, scenario. At the beginning, I want to introduce that uh, we are talking about community. We are community, we're talking about people. You know, this is the base of the human tower in Catalonia. Uh, it's a traditional sport there. And at the end, people, as the who needs services, is his building these towers. These towers together, to mature together, and to make different things, and to interact with, with technology, for instance. And OpenOla, you know, an amazing product, an amazing project uh, that you are using, your benefits. And uh, I think that uh, you agree. You agree that we are Open Nebula, it's amazing. Hands on, please. OK, OK. Uh, thank you for coming after lunch. At the end, about SESCA is the organization that I'm working for. It's a public consortium created in 1991. And it's uh, formed by all the public universities of Catalonia and the government. And we are offering ICT services to uh, all the research on education actors in Catalonia, in Catalonia about 90 uh, institutions. And the end, what cloud, cloud computing is really means for research and, and education. It's a strategy, it's a paradigm, it's a fashion. At the end, I want to introduce research and education networks. So I'm one of, of you providing for commercial, for and commercial enterprises. And this is what is this, this? What is that? At the end, our research and education networks is a non-profit internet service provider that is dedicated to support the needs of research and education communities. And what he he has, he has a high-speed backbone network, you know. Uh, and uh, at the end, these networks. They are uh, providing a lot of innovation. We're talking about new protocols, new architectures, cloud computing included. At the end, this research and education networks are an international project that in Europe, in Europe, it's managed by Giant. In Spain, for instance, by Retiris. Catalonia, by CESCA. In uh, in United Kingdom, Janet, and so on. At the end, what cloud computing really means for this community is uh, we have we have some big feedback for the user, and at the end we have uh, this scheme that maybe represents the kind of actors, modes, and the benefits that is are well known. In, in the community, but at the end, where are our users worried about? You know, they know the capabilities of cloud computing, flexibility, reducing costs, maybe. But the main barriers of the cloud computing adoption for organization, organization is, you know, security, where my data. But for research and education networks and for this community, academia community, this may be safe if the data is inside the, the, this, this network and that the service is provided by software computing centers or service centers at CESCA, CESGA, etc. But what about distribution? We are talking about a self-service model. Every actor has his car. He is providing infrastructure services. The infrastructure services are provided by the main actors that are provided the typical supercomputer or network, for instance. This is one. And the second, responsibilities. Where we are, where the user, who manages what, and so on. If we talk about infrastructure, and we are 
IE, IAA services is the end. It's very clear. But it's that the user need. At this appear, a mega work group is a work group in, uh, among Retidis, which is a research and education network in Spain. That at the end, we want to let's put all together. This is the mission. You have two keys promote and to act as a catalyst. Where? In open architectures, detecting use cases, in an interoperable model, building a testbed, making promotion. At the end, that the cloud computing be not vapor software, not vapor clouds. It's more technology. And the main objectives of this work group that starts in 2009, it's the end to have capability to deploy a federated cloud infrastructure, that to explore the possibilities of this platform, this test platform, to cloudify applications, at the end, facilitate and collaborate, for instance, with Open Nebula to enlarge his project, his components, and to provide more community. We're talking about projects, more things that we can see, we can touch. We have the mega intercloud project. We have this sentence that I like a lot from myth to reality, or we try to make things. The initial stage in the Retiris community, we have some centers that are providing services, ICT services to a community, as CESC in Galicia, CESC in Catalonia, PINK for LHC of CERN, Retiris that provides identity, network, etc. And we're providing a distributed model without coordination, this kind of services. But when arrives cloud computing, you have to open this kind of architectures. It's a typical, we have two CESC in cloud infrastructure. This is our ecosystems. We have two zones, we have an worker nodes with Open Nebula 3.8, using Open Switch, KVM, etc. In CESGA, there's a similar architecture, open architecture, that uh, are providing OCCI2, they are, pro they are using KVM, they are making uh, Sandstone accessible to his users, this instance. You have Open Nebula instances around the research and location network. What's the next stage? You have to be interoperable among us. The end. We have to build a virtual book shock, or a common model. The first, if from the research and education community, we are open. And OCCI was the API selected, the only selected that the user can interact with this intercloud project. This center were providing infrastructure to make things aligned to an open cloud. In the end, we put OCCI to all the components. We have one part of the, of the work done. The next, we're talking about the identity. The identity, retiris of offers an API for read. What's, what's the first approach? Is to use these kind of certificates with OCCI and Open Nebula and his ecosystem provides the capability to make things as is. To complete the federator, these are components, typical components. When you arrive at certificate and we are using, you know, our OCCI. 1.1 and interacts at the end on Open Nebula without BOs implementation as all the all who have a valid certificate here can access to the project among the community. At the end, the results of the first stage, this 
approach between together with technology products and arrive to have compatibility in images, instances, and network management, for instance. Contextualization, uh, we, have, we offer, offer a public high-speed connectivity, the typical scenario is when a user has the root, uh, user manuals provided to the user, and service provider how -tos. We started with Open Nebula 2, and at the end, we work in terms of service too, but it is another leak. Let's see. The main players in cloud in infrastructure, we have important the user that are using infrastructure. We have from education, from science, who is providing the cloud power, Open Nebula, uh, Retiris, and Incentivas identity providers, for instance, and who is providing uh, the course and storage. At the end, and where is the user? I have identified two uh, different approaches of different users. One of them is the Open University of Catalonia. It's now it's a large university, about 65,000 students online and they participate in innovation projects and use this platform. At the end, the objective is to build a store to provide education's platform on demand. It's a similar app store that you have if you want uh, WordPress uh, that is designed for a concurrency of 5,000 people. It provides all the uh, provision, uh, see, all, all the provision scope. At the end, we are using with RESTful API, automation, on demand, education, contextualization, cloud. We're cloudifying applications now. This is a screen of the store, and you can provide it to cart, configure at the high level, and it provides over the cloud using OCCI this scenario. Another case, it's about science. So the port information scientifica it is the is the tier one of the LH LHC project and it interacts with Dirac. Dirac, you know, you know Dirac, it's an interware for managed grid. And at the end we want to uh, provide cloud capabilities to Dirac. This is the leader is Victor Mender from PIC with interaction with CESGA. Uh, Santiago University stands the end. Integration, scientific purposes, job oriented, and so on. We can see the architecture of Dirac and interaction. We can see a new component, where is the user? At the end, how can uh, make jobs? At the end, the new things. You have a director that interacts with the cloud manager, and at the end, with the mega cloud infrastructure federated. If we see the life cycle of a virtual machine, at the end, the XC director using the API OCCI use a repo, uh, image repository to provide the image. When the instance is running, we will some virtual machines running and uh, in and considering the architecture of Dirac, it's a, a virtual machine that have the virtual machine that works that it's in contact with the scheduler and reports a statistics for instance. Next steps. We have seen some, some user examples. We have seen the architecture. We want. Um, how we manage identity, but what's next? We have detected problems in our community. And this is reported by uh, in between, well, among 
this workgroup that participates uh, universities, research centers, uh, hospitals, museums, uh, music schools, and so on. At the end, if we are talking about scientific research centers, nowadays we have don't have the manpower to make things, to make 24 hours services and to maintain its services. Uh, the server deployment takes a long time. They can solve big problems and have or to have a second data center to provide an extra extra uh, or as a redundancy uh, data center is not possible about money. And what about the test platform? We have to improve the next stage, something relationship with compatibility and features. You have to be able to change this to offer that more uh, service providers enter. We need to build a marketplace. It's necessary we have to to use a marketplace for the community. Uh, we have to use BOs. We have to try to the new approach. This is a Sandstone Federation, for instance. There are these questions we are discussing now, and we are preparing a new possible stage. is to convert this platform, this test platform, in a possible a production platform. At the end, to improve the needs of our users. Because at the end, we see we see the real scenario. This is a uh, architecture from Pelocan. That's a center in Canarias. Uh, oceanographic platform in Canary Islands, and this is his his architecture now. They are working in a hybrid cloud with Amazon, and they have uh, in the private cloud Open Nebula and in the public cloud EC2. This is the typical scenario that we have seen, and we are sure that at the first stage, we are in hybrid clouds. We can change this with infrastructure provided by service center that are inside the research and location. It can interact with commercial providers. Uh, Elix Nebula is making something like that. All is open because cloud adoption in this kind of communities goes slow. At the end, some conclusions. We have a new challenges in the inside the community. One of them is about federated user authentication and authorization with different cloud managers. Problem, my problem is the interoperability in APIs. You know, is OCCI is not adopted in all the products, or you have to manage at the end three or four APIs. You have to have secure UVM image beam distribution and validation at the end heterogeneous cloud managers. The main part of the key part is the counting. The counting that at the end is directly relationed with money. And this is another leak too. And at the end uh, work with SLAs and to manage where I can put my workload, IT workload. We trust that we need, we trust in a future community federated cloud model with some advantages. It's clear, scalability. Commercial providers included, why not? A distribution exchange by nature. Resource sharing, reducing costs, theory, high availability, and at the end, an efficient use 
of infrastructure. Thanks. That's all. Uh, I think that's uh, three minutes, no? It's <laughs> remaining, approximately. And at the end, the community, people, and the user needs, I think that a new human tower can arrive to the clouds. And that's all, folks. Thanks for your attention. This, this, is one of, of this is one of the main of approach that we are discussing, and there are two models, brokering model, distributed model. You have different contacts with each other, or you have a, a broker agent can maybe, for instance, Retiris, that is that's managing the, the, yeah, and providing net, uh, providing services in, in Spain, and they might be in the brokering. But now, in brokering, I don't know a product. I know projects, Contrail, competitive one, for instance. But a product to buy now, nowadays, commercial product that covers and that don't reduce functionalities in the service provider or infrastructure service provider, I think that's in a green scenario now. And this is the, this is the main key in, in, in the, for the evolution of this kind of initiatives, that is the, to decide, to discuss, we have which is the new model. We can continue in a distributed model. We need brokering. I think uh, in the commercial arena that you, that you are in providers, maybe, uh, it's an a strategic approach. Uh, maybe the broker have all the eggs in the same bag. It's something to, to discuss and to, to see. Ah, it's about the next stage, about to uh, to make or to interact with cloud providers or different cloud providers. And we're talking about BOs <laughs> in certificates. Uh, the now it's, it's not implemented, but uh, depends. As, as I think this is the same question, that it depends the approach. If we are in a brokering, the operation is a broker, it's a task of the broker no? to arrive with the user that can use who, who pro I, what, what providers can be used by the user or by the applications. And uh, inside the provider now, uh, in the case of Cesca, for instance, we are in a pay for use model that are controlled users of our community that are using a quota or we have controlled by quota. And uh, they can access to some templates or if you are going inside Open Nebula, for instance. Uh, for instance. This is one of the uh, missing things. And at the end, we have the users inside the cloud, the distributed cloud. Yeah. 
that this is one of the things to next steps is the maybe sandstone federations at the application level. You know, in Retis there is an initiative, identity initiative, uh, identity providers, and uh, at the end maybe sandstone were integrated and not using certificates, for instance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a good point. <laughs> but this is maybe. But is the model that, um, that we have nowadays. Any more questions? Okay, great. Then Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>